There are so many ways to learn about farm policy and crop insurance and ethanol policy and all of the big things that we work in in corn. There's fewer of those to learn about trade. So this workshop is really one way we're trying to offer that education in partnership with our national sister association, with our state members to fill that gap and to make sure people can learn as much about this really important topic as others in agriculture. We're trying to grow our leaders, our farmer leaders, and having them have the basic understanding of trade and how they can get involved and how they can communicate with their neighbors and advocate for trade is really important to our mission and important to the farmers and their farming operation as a whole. I was talking to North Dakota Corn about having one of these in Minnesota and I'm so thankful that uh, they decided to be the first one back after COVID. So, no, I, I think a lot of people learned a lot of stuff today. I know I've already taken back, I'm going to take back some information to my neighbors, the friends, the rest of the ag community in my area, that how important trade is. America's corn farmers are really talented at their job uh, and every year we always make it out with record carryover numbers and so it's really important that we're continuing to talk about the value of trade and that we're continuing to go after new opportunities in the global trade space. We uh, in this room today come from different parts of both Minnesota, North Dakota, and I believe we have some South Dakota participants as well. So we have some uh, variations in what we produce and which markets we produce it for. So it leads to some interesting conversation because uh, we all have different perspectives. As we talked about today, trade is so much more than just making an arrangement to sell some product. Trade requires the information being presented to the customer and helping the customer learn how to use our products and then you put together the political part and the logistical part to make the whole deal happen. And we have to keep reminding our customers of the importance and the value that the American agriculture can bring to the table. So that's a job that all of us need to do to, to keep up that message. I would rank today as a very good success story. When bringing people together and discussing issues, trade should always be at the front of mind. My mind is going, it's like, uh, can we do this again next year and where would we put it, you know, to attract even more growers? I definitely think just over lunch, we were already hearing people that they've had great takeaways, they've learned a lot, and that's a success. Chalked up as a win. <laughs>